your mercy come upon us, for we have placed all our hope in you.
Ev logis on despotos. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Always, now, and forever, and under the ages of ages. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of God and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Hierasimus, the Honorable Presbyters, the deacons in the service of Christ, and for all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the President, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord our God, your power is beyond compare. Your glory is beyond understanding. Your mercy is immeasurable, and your love for us is beyond the power of words even to describe. Master, look upon us and upon this holy house in your loving kindness. Grant to us and to those who pray with us the riches of your mercy and compassion. For to you belongs all glory, <coughs> honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all that he has done for you. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. The Lord in heaven has prepared his throne and his kingdom rules over all. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. 
again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. Lord our God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who put our hope in you. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God as long as I live. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God. So, so he must be O the Lord will reign forever, your God, O Zion, shall rule from generation to generation. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead, we sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious so Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord, you have given us grace to offer these common prayers with one voice. You have promised to grant the request of two or three gathered in your name. Fulfill now the petitions of your servants for our benefit, giving us the knowledge of your truth in this world and granting us eternal life in the age to come. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let the heavens and earth praise him. When the
pray to the Lord. Holy God, you dwell among your saints. You are praised by the seraphim with the thrice holy hymn, and glorified by the cherubim and worshiped by all the heavenly powers. You brought all things out of nothing into being. You've created man and woman in your image and likeness and adorned them with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to those who ask and do not overlook the sinner, but have established repentance as the way of salvation. You've made us your lowly and unworthy servants, worthy to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar and offer unto due worship and praise. Master, accept the thrice holy hymn also from the lips of us sinners and visit us in your goodness. Forgive all of our voluntary and involuntary transgressions. Sanctify our souls and bodies and grant that we may worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives. By the intercession of the Holy Theotokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. For you are holy, our God, and unto you do we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. And unto the ages of ages. Blessed are you, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God. For you are seated upon the throne of glory, the throne of the Cherubim. You are the Lord of the Seraphim and the King of Israel. Let us 
be attentive. Their voice has gone out into all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Let us listen attentively. Brethren, whatever anyone dares to boast of, I am speaking as a fool. I also dare to boast of that. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they descendants of Abraham? So am I. Are they servants of Christ? I'm a better one. I'm talking like a madman, with far greater labors, far more imprisonments, with countless beatings, and often near death. Five times I have received at the hands of the Jews the forty lashes less one. Three times I've been beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Three times I've been shipwrecked. A night and a day I've been adrift at sea, on frequent journeys, in danger from rivers, danger from robbers, danger from my own people, danger from Gentiles, danger in the city, danger in the wilderness, danger at sea, danger from false brethren, in toil and hardship, through many a sleepless night, in hunger and thirst, often without food, in cold and exposure. And apart from other things, there's the daily pressure upon me of my anxiety for all the churches who is weak and I am not weak, who is made to fall and I am not indignant. If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. The God and Father of the Lord Jesus, he who is blessed forever, knows that I do not lie. At Damascus, the governor under King Aratas guarded the city of Damascus in order to seize me, but I was let down in a basket through a window in the wall and escaped his hands. I must boast, there is nothing to be gained by it, but I will go on to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. Whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows. And I know that this man was caught up into paradise. Whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows. And he heard things that cannot be told, which man may not utter. On behalf of this man, I will boast, but on my own behalf, I will not boast except of my weaknesses. Though if I wish to boast, I shall not be a fool, for I shall be speaking the truth. But I refrain from it, so that no one may think more of me than he sees in me or hears from me. And to keep me from being too elated by the abundance of revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I besought the Lord about this, that it should leave me, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. I will all the more gladly boast of my weaknesses, but the power of Christ may rest upon me. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Galatians. Brethren, you know that a man is not justified by works of the law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Christ Jesus in order to be justified by faith in Christ and not by works of the law, because by works of the law shall no one be justified. But if in our endeavor to be justified in Christ, we ourselves were found to be sinners, is Christ then an agent of sin? Certainly not. But if I build up again those things which I tore down, then I prove myself a transgressor. For I through the law died to the law, that I might live to God. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Peace be unto you, the reader of love. And with your spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Stretch your bow and grant prosperity and reign because of truth and goodness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Shine within our hearts, loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our minds, that we may understand the message of your gospel. 
instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments so that having conquered our sinful desires we may lead a spiritual life thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you for you O christ our god are the light of our souls and bodies and unto you do we offer up glory together with your father who is without beginning and your all holy good and life creating spirit now and forever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is taken from the Holy Gospel. According to St. Luke, let us listen attentively. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. The Lord said, whoever listens to you, listens to me. Whoever rejects you, rejects me. But whoever rejects me, rejects him who sent me. The 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. Jesus replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. However, do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. At that time, Jesus, full of joy in the Spirit, said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were well pleased to do. Proclaims the Holy Gospel. And then we bow before you and pray to your good and loving God. Hear our supplication. Cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit. And grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, that they always worship you with reverence and love. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ασύνη σου μυστική ρε Θεό, στην τη βασιλεία του πάντοτε νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα του να μην μείνει. Ανυμόν νιστή κύριο το Θεό. Εν τη βασιλεία αυτού πάντοτε. in his kingdom both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. <laughs> our prayer to the Lord, Lord mercy. for the precious gifts here presented let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. for this holy house and for those who enter it with faith reverence and the fear of God let us pray to the Lord, Lord For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, 
by your grace. Lord, have mercy. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian into our lives peaceful, without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Receive also the prayer of us sinners and let it reach your holy altar. Enable us to bring before you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the transgressions of the people. Make us worthy to find grace in your presence, that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, and that your good and gracious spirit may abide with us, with the gifts here presented, and with all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good and life-giving spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Here peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and my deliverer. The doors, guard the doors, wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Father, Father, and all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father, True God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and of his kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, 
who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the ages to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper and right. It is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, praise you, give thanks to you, and worship you in all places of your dominion. For you are God, ineffable, beyond comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing. And when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things, we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all things that we know and do not know, the blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Together with these blessed powers, O loving Master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy, and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the entire plan of salvation for us. But the night when he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broke it, then gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink from this, all of you, 
This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Remembering, therefore, this command of our Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second and glorious coming. Catapanda, Kedia Panda. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. We ask, pray, and beg you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Change them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That these gifts might be for those who partake of them, for vigilance of the soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not in judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer to you this spiritual worship for those who rest in the faith, our forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, teachers, for every righteous spirit brought to perfection in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, and blessed, and glorious Lady, the fair Torcos and ever Virgin Mary. For St. John's prophet, and for the Holy Baptist, for the Holy Glorious and most honorable apostles, especially St. Paul the Apostle, whose memory we celebrate today, of St. Anastasia Megalia, whose memory we also celebrate today, and of all your saints. teach the word of your truth, all presbyters, all deacons in the service of Christ, and everyone in holy orders. We also offer to you this spiritual worship for the whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those living in purity and holiness, and for all those in public service. Permit them, O Lord, to serve and govern in peace, that through the faithful conduct of their duties, we may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Above all, remember, Lord, Lord our Archbishop Erasimus. Grant, grant that he may serve your holy churches, churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many, many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. 
and remember those from Egypt as close to mine and all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, those who are traveling, the sick, the suffering, the captives, grant them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who serve in your holy churches and who care for the poor. Send your mercies upon us all. And grant them with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and under the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all and with your spirit having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord for the precious gifts here offered and consecrated let us pray to the Lord That our loving God who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance may in return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we ask, pray, and beg you. Make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, the forgiveness of our transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation, to dare to call upon you, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours bow our heads to the Lord. To you, o Lord. We give thanks to Invisible King. By your infinite power, you created all things. And by your great mercy, you brought everything from nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you. For they have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the needs of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, and heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, 
Here is from your holy dwelling place, and from the glorious throne of your kingdom. You are enthroned on high with the Father, and are also invisibly present among us. Come and make us holy. Let your pure body and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand, and through us, to all your people. Proskomen Ta'ya Tisayi Break, Master, the holy bread. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed. Broken, but not divided. He is forever eaten, yet is never consumed. But he makes holy all those who partake of him. Jesus Christos Nikah. Jesus Christ conquers all the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Blessed is the fervor of your saints now and in prayers on page 33. Ages of ages. I believe, Amen. Lord, and confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy on me and forgive my transgressions, whether voluntary or involuntary, committed in word or deed, knowingly or unwittingly, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake in your pure mysteries, for remission of my sins, and for everlasting life. Amen. You have enticed me, O Christ, and I yearn for you. By your divine love, you have transformed me. Consume my sins in spiritual flame, and let me be filled with the sheer delight of you, O gracious Lord, that rejoicing I may magnify both your advents. How shall I, so unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal feast, my clothing will disgrace me. Since it is not a wedding garment, then I shall be bound and cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness. Instead, may I receive them for the cleansing and sanctification of both soul and body and as a pledge of a future life in your kingdom. It is good for me to cling to my God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of this mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. We welcome all of our guests and our visitors this morning. We're glad to have you with us. We respectfully remind you that the sacrament of Holy Communion is reserved for those who are baptized or chrismated Orthodox Christian in good sacramental standing with the Church, who have properly prepared through fasting, prayer, and the sacrament of Holy Confession. Therefore, if you're not Orthodox, or if you have not properly prepared, we would respectfully ask that you remain in the pews during Holy Communion, but then at the end of the service, if you wish, you may come forward to receive a blessing from the priest. There's further information in the cards in the pews. And the Communion order is first the Sunday School teachers with their own children, then the choir with the acolytes, then the ushers will escort the Sunday school children row by row and then return to the front of the church to escort the adults row by row. Thank you. Τι μου και πανάγιο αίμα. 
του Κυρίου και Θεού και ο Σωτήρας Ιησού Σάφε σήμα μαρτυριών και η ζωήν αιώνιον αμήν και εις το όρμα του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος αμήν. Του τα ύψα το χιλέο μου και αφέλει ο Κύριος Πάσας ανομίας μου και της αμαρτίας μου καλή καθαρή. Ανάσταση και Ιησού Θεάς άμνη προσκυνήσουμε να Άγιον Κύριον Ιησού του Μόνο αναμάρτητον το σταυρό σου Χριστέ προσκυνούμε την Υγεία σου Ανάσταση μου και το ξάζουμε. Σίγαρο Θεός είναι το Θεός. With the fear of God, faith and love, draw near. Haste okay. and see how good the Lord is. Okay. Alleluia. 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 Haste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Taste and see how good the, the Lord, Lord is. is. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. About what God and I will bless the Lord Christ. at all times. The servant of God is my lips. Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The servant of God. The Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The servant of God. 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 The servant of for the forgiveness of God, the servant of God, John. He sees the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. 
receives the body of the Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, like it was a servant of God, who receives the body and the blood. It's okay. Receives the body of the Lord and Savior, it's a servant of God for the forgiveness of the Lord. Receives the body and the blood of God. the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember, God receives the body and blood of God, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And see how good the Lord is. For the forgiveness of his sins, the servant of God, Duncan John, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of his sins and life everlasting. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and he will save the humble receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Athanasius, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the servant of God, Emilia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none of those who hope him shall be lost, the everlasting body of the servant of God, Athanasius, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of his sins. Life the, last days. the servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins and life everlasting. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins and life everlasting. Savior Jesus Christ, Here. for the forgiveness of your sins. Good girl. The servant of God, the servant Fortini, of God. Watch receives the body and blood of our Lord receives and Savior Jesus the Christ. Of the servant of God, God Savior, Jesus Christ receives the, the body and blood of, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Stephen, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Anna, Good receives girl, the body and blood of our of Lord God. and Savior Jesus Christ receives for the forgiveness the of your sins and life of our Lord God and Savior the servant Jesus Christ, of God, the Lord, servant of God, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, the servant of God, receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the servant of God, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God. John receives the body and blood of our Lord the and Savior Jesus God Christ for the forgiveness of sins. the body and the blood of our Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God, the servant of God, Pavlos, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, the servant of God. Receives the body, the body and the blood of our Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God. Andre receives the body and the body blood, blood of our Lord, of our Lord and God Jesus and our Savior Christ Jesus Christ. Christ. The servant, the servant of, God of God, John, receives the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God and our Savior Jesus the servant Christ. of God, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, receives the body and the blood of our Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, receives the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Receives the body and the blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant, of God the servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and our Savior so Jesus Christ. Christ. The he servant of God receives the body and the blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus the Christ. God, the servant of God receives so the body Christ. and the blood of our Lord God and our Savior Amen. Jesus Christ. The servant of God Theodorus Metalavanius Soma Kema Christu. Isafis in Mathion Kizain, Eonium Amin. The servant of God Nicoleta. Metalavanius Soma Kema Christu. Isafis in Mathion Kizain, Eonium Amin. Metalavanius Dutheo Yoria. Soma Kema Christu. Isafis in Mathion Kizain, Eonium Amin. The servant of God Hiena receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God Metalavanius Receives so the, the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God. The servant of God. The servant of God. The servant of God. 
receive the divine blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Christina, so make him a Christ. We serve in the mighty and the Zain. Amen. The servant of God. We the Lavani of the Lord. So make him a Christ. We serve in the mighty and the Zain. Amen. The servant of God. 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 The servant of God, the body and the blood, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of God. And life the receives the body and the blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. The servant of God, grace, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the servant of God, receives our body, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Met alavani. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of Mary, the servant of God, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Receives the body and the blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, for the forgiveness of sins, the body and the blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For the forgiveness of your sins, the servant of God, and the blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For the forgiveness of your sins, the servant of God, of our Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. For the forgiveness of your sins, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The life everlasting, the servant of God, the servant of God, the Savior Jesus Christ. Stephen, the servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The body and the blood of the Lord God, the Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, the Lord and Savior Jesus
receives the forgiveness of our sins and life. Our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God Andrew, the servant of God, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of our sins and life of our Savior Jesus Christ, the servant of God. The servant of God receives the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ of God for the forgiveness of your sins and life. The, body and blood. the servant of God, God Savior Jesus Christ. Christopher, receives the, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and the blood of your sins and life everlasting. And life everlasting. The servant of God. The servant of God. David receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, George, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and life everlasting. Thank you, gentlemen. The servant of God receives the body and the blood of our Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Elvira, That's okay. receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. Oh God, Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the light, the true light, and have received the heavenly spirit. We now have found the true faith. We have indeed. By our worshiping the undivided truth. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. You have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Thank you. Keep us in your holiness. Partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, giving in awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Direct our ways in the right path. Establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavors safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. 
For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. You have fulfilled all the dispensation of the Father. Fill our hearts with the joy and gladness, always now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. This is wrong. So now for our parish feast day, we're going to bless five loaves of bread. Cherise Matthews, baby, where is that icon in this church? Right back there. Okay, so we remember this miracle where Jesus fed 5,000 people and more, which is five loaves of bread. Holy Deacon. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your steadfast love. We pray to hear, send of mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all faithful and Orthodox Christians. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again, we pray for Archbishop Yerasimos and for all our brothers in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, and for the forgiveness and remission of the sins of the servants of God, the members, parish council members, supporters, and benefactors of this holy church, and for the servants of God, Deacon Dan and his dear Cornis Aquani, and for their children who celebrate this holy feast. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the protection of this holy church, this city and every city and country, from wrath, famine, pestilence, earthquake, flood, fire, the sword, foreign invasions, civil strife and accidental death, that our good and loving God may be merciful, gracious, and kindly disposed, and may divert the dis and disperse all anger and disease coming against us, and deliver us from his righteous rebuke, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God will hear the voice of our petitions and have mercy on us sinners. Hear us, O God, our Savior, the hope of those who live everywhere on earth and those far out at sea. Be gracious toward our sins, O Master, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we do give glory. 
to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and on to the ages of ages. Spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, o Lord. Most merciful Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, by the intercession of our most pure Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the power of your precious and life giving cross, the protection of all the angelic powers of heaven, the supplication of the holy, glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, especially St. Paul the Apostle, whose memory we celebrate this day, the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs of our fathers among the saints, the great <coughs> bishops and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, and John the Merciful, who were patriarchs of Alexandria, our fathers among the saints, Nicholas the Bishop of Myra and Lycia, and Spiridon the Bishop of Trimithundos, the miracle workers, of the holy, glorious, and great martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Mirror Streaming, Theodore the Recruit, and Theodore the Commander, Minas the Miracle Worker, of the martyrs among priests, Caralabos and Eleftherios, of the holy, glorious, and great martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Paraskevi, and Irene, and of all the holy and victorious martyrs, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all your saints, Make our supplications acceptable unto you. Grant us forgiveness of our transgressions. Shelter us beneath the shelter of your wings. Keep us from every enemy in war. Make our lives peaceful, O Lord. Have mercy on us and upon your world and save our souls, for you are good and the lover of all mankind. Amen. Thymia must prosper in my Christiotos, Simon. Theotokia Christ our God, you blessed the five loaves in the desert, and from them filled five thousand men. Bless these loaves, the wheat, the wine, and the oil, and increase them in the city and in all your world, and sanctify your faithful servants who shall eat of them. For you, O Christ our God, bless and sanctify all things unto you to be offered up glory, together with your Father who is without beginning in your all holy, good, and life giving spirit now and forever and under the ages of ages. Amen. 
پلوسی ابتو کنسان که پینا سان ایده اکسی تون دستون کیری آن او که لا تو تیسون نپندو ساگاثو Si apto hefsan ke pinasan, idek si tun deston kirion, uken la to thison de pando sagatu. Let us pray unto the Lord. May the blessing of the Lord and His mercy come upon you through His divine grace and love, always, now, and forever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, our God and our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, is a good, loving, and merciful God. Have mercy on us and save us. Through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the power of his precious and life-giving cross, the protection of all the angelic powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, the prayers of the holy, glorious and praiseworthy apostles, especially St. Paul the Apostle, whose name our church bears, whose memory we celebrate this day, of the holy, glorious and triumphant martyrs, of our holy and God-bearing Father, John Chrysostom, whose liturgy we have celebrated this day, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of Saint Anastasia the Roman, whose memory we also celebrate this day, and of all your saints. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Please be seated. Because. So, this is our parish feast day. So we say, Kronia Pola! Many years. I don't know how you say that in Slavonic. But we're really happy uh, that all of you from the Nativity of the Theotokos Church are here as well. At any rate, uh, today is our feast day fest. And so afterwards, everyone is invited outside. Uh, we have free lunch. What more could you ask for? See, even your son, he's, he's clapping his hands. I see that. So that's wonderful. Uh, at any rate, please join us outside uh, as just afterwards. So um, let me just mention a few things for this week. The Monday night Bible study on Ephesians, uh, St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, is at 7.30. Uh, it's on Zoom. Uh, but Cherise, your class will not meet this week on Halloween Eve. So, um, but next week is the final class on November 7th, correct? So uh, then on, on um, Wednesday, uh, St. Cosmas and Damien, the healers, uh, we have liturgy in the morning, and then Orthodox Christianity 101 meets in the evening. Uh, on Thursday, the women's Bible study on the Acts of the Apostles, uh, that's continuing, uh, and that's at 10 a.m. in the morning, and the men's prayer fellowship meets at 7.30 in the evening, and Mr. Dean's Bible study on the Orthodox Kinonia, his Bible study on Psalms and Proverbs and the wisdom literature of the Old Testament. Uh, that meets on Thursday night also at 7.30. Now, this coming week, um, if you have your Sunday bulletin and you actually turn to page 9, 
Uh, this coming week, starting on uh, Friday, we'll have great vespers with Metropolitan Yerasimus, and the deacons retreat for our entire metropolis will begin. Uh, we are hosting this year Father Serafim Aldea, uh, who is starting a monastery in Scotland. And um, he is Romanian in background. He has his PhD in theology uh, from uh, England, actually. And uh, at any rate, he is the retreat master. But even though this is for deacons, uh, it's actually open to everyone. And uh, so you can see, if you turn to page 9, what the schedule is. Now, for us, they're charging $50 a person. The deacons have to pay 100 bucks a person. So it's good to be just an ordinary person in this, OK? Um, at any rate, uh, and so Friday night, and it's also all day Saturday. Um, and then in the morning, on Sunday morning, we'll have a hierarchical liturgy with Metropolitan Yerasimus. Um, so we have a very, very uh, busy weekend uh, coming up, but it's a busy week as well. Um, so let me do this. I see the microphone is there. George Theodoro, where are you, baby? Come on up. And then Irene Bazdakis. Where are you, Irene? Come back up, baby. And Priscilla Tedesco, and where's Poita, and where's uh, Kia, and everybody else? Everybody. Priscilla, Sharice, come on up. So, our parish and our philoptikos has a couple of presentations to make to focus Orange County. Irene Bazdakis, baby, you are doing good work. She does good work. What does, what does focus do? Anybody know? Day, everybody. Uh, just wanted to tell you that Velopta Host is always looking to support those in need. And I can't think of any better uh, philanthropy than Focus Southern California, who does this work every single day. So um, this year and every year, we have a Make a Difference Day. We made it a Make a Difference Month, culminating in our pancake breakfast to raise funds for Focus. <coughs> So I'd like to ask Cherise, who's the chairperson of this event, to tell you more about the Giving Tree and to present the check. Blessed Feast Day, everybody. So uh, Philoptos, as Priscilla just said, um, we raised through this uh, Make a Difference Day and through the Giving Tree $5,600 for Focus Southern California. We would like to present this to you, Irene, and thank you for all that you do. Thank you, everyone, for your support. Blessed Feast Day, everyone. Good morning. One thing just to add, Focus does a lot of good work, again, with uh, those that are, you know, needy. And I don't know if you know, but there's about 300,000 or so people that don't have food every day in Orange County that go hungry. And Focus does a small part, large part, actually, in helping those people on a daily basis. And it's just a wonderful thing that we've had such a, a good relationship with Focus, support Focus, support all they do. We actually have an event coming up on Saturday to work with Focus at the Orange County Food Bank with our youth and our families. So it's something that we're very, very close with and we really, really love supporting Focus and all that you do. So on behalf of our community, um, Irene, we'd like to present you a check for $10,000 to support Focus as well. So congratulations. Happy Feast Day. Um, 
very touching, um, the work that we do um, with the Orthodox and the community at large. It takes donations like this. It takes amazing volunteers, and many of you are here. And it takes prayer. And by all of us working together, we truly can bless our neighbors in need. But we, we can't do it just one person. It's all of us working together. Um, the Philoptokos and, and George and, and <clears throat> everybody here, Parishioner of St. Paul, really thank you from the bottom of my heart for including us in your prayers and donations and volunteering. And I look forward to working with more of you in the future. God bless you. So also, uh, on November 11th, Saturday, November 11th, we are having a fundraiser for Tunnels to Towers. So Catherine Boucher, I know you're here somewhere. Kristen, I see you there, baby. Come on up and talk to us a little bit about that. Albert, it's okay, baby. Good morning. Thank you, Father Steve. I called like a week ago and very, I begged Father Steve to let us speak just for a minute on a very busy Sunday. And then the second he said yes, Kristen and I started panicking because neither of us like public speaking. But um, anyway, as Father Steve said, Harvesting Hope is coming up on November 11th. We're super excited about it. And we decided to kind of mix it up this year. And in addition to St. Paul's, we will also be supporting a wonderful organization and our veterans. Kristen will talk about that in just a second. Um, our final numbers are due on October 31st, so that's two days from now. So if you are considering coming, if you're planning on coming, please do get your reservations in. We'd love to have you, and as always, our focus is really fellowship and community and coming together as a parish to have a great night. So we'd love to have you there, and Kristen and I are so thankful for all of your support. Good morning. Um, so yeah, as Catherine mentioned, you know, we started Harvesting Hope, gosh, 10 years ago or something. Um, this is our fourth one, maybe. And it's always been just about creating a really fun evening, um, unique venues, um, fun, you know, uh, activities, and just supporting different philanthropies throughout the year. Um, as she mentioned, this year we are supporting Tunnel to Towers. It is a, if you're not familiar, it's a foundation that was founded out of 9-11. Steven Seiler was a firefighter who after finishing his shift and hearing about the towers coming down, went back into the tunnel and towards the towers and, um, you know, was heroic in his efforts to save many people before he lost his own life. And so his brothers um, started this foundation in his honor, and they support um, veterans and first responders. Um, this event is on Veterans Day weekend, so we thought that that was very fitting. We liked this particular organization because they support not only veterans, but firefighters and first responders and all kinds of service people that put their lives on the line for all of us every day. And I know all of us um, appreciate um, that. As well, it's really important to know where your fundraising dollars are going. And Tunnel to Towers is impressive with donating 95% of every dollar they receive back directly to the recipients. Um, so very low um, operating expenses. Um, if you ever donate to philanthropies and stuff, it's always important to see where that money is going. So we're really excited about it. It's a fun evening. If you've come before, you know that. If you haven't come to any Harvesting Hopes before, you should totally come. And um, we are taking reservations today. We'll have a table outside. The QR code is in your bulletin, so you can do that as well. And we hope you all will join us. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. So, those of you who were not here yesterday, Athanasius, I'm looking at you, baby. But that's okay. I can get on Kenny right behind you, too. Okay? But those of you who were not here yesterday, you missed something really, really good. And, uh, but fortunately, uh, you get to hear Father Barnabas Powell preach this morning. Father Barnabas. He is my man. I mean, he is wonderful. 
And he flew here all the way from Atlanta, Georgia to be with you guys. And boy, are my arms tired. And I, I, I love Whoops. you. Whoops. Careful. That's a nice dance. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. All right. So we did this last night. So I'm going to see how you do today. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, there you go. Christ is in our midst. That's pretty good. He is and never shall be, but that's cool. No problem. It is a joy to join you today and be able to speak to you. Just a little bit about myself. <clears throat> First off, I want to thank Father Stephen and the parish council for allowing me to come out and be a part of this. Um, I've been blessed to come to St. Paul's uh, a few times in, in the past, and it's always a joy, and it's always an honor. Uh, but it is always me waking up at 4 o'clock thinking it's 7. My background is not uh, in the Greek Orthodox Church. I was born and raised as, uh, in the uh, American South. I'm Southern by the grace of God, American by birth. Raised in a Pentecostal world. Wanted to be a preacher since I could remember. While the other kids were playing with G.I. Joes, I was pretending to be Billy Graham in the basement and holding services. I eventually got my dream to be a Pentecostal pastor in a growing church in Atlanta, Georgia. But as the years went by, my best friend and myself began to question whether there was more to the Christian life than just the emotional experiences that we've been experiencing in our Pentecostal background. My best friend Rod and I loved church history, so we began to read. And we found out that there was a group of people called the Orthodox. And I looked at Rod and I said, Rod, have you ever seen one of these people before? He said, no, no. I said, well, do you think they're still around? <laughs> well, come on, folks. It's not like y'all were trying to come, come find us, for heaven's sake. Uh, we'll talk about that later. A long story short, after a 10-year journey, my best friend Rod and his family and my family and 20 families from the church I was pastoring entered the Orthodox Church in November of 2001. In 2006, I uh, moved to Boston. In 2007, I moved to Boston to go to seminary. In 2009, I was ordained a, de a deacon. And 2010, I was ordained a priest and became the parish priest of Saints Raphael, Nicholas, and Irene Greek Orthodox Church in Cumming, Georgia, a congregation that had about 32 families. And now, after about 14 and a half years, we have 168 families. And we're 75% convert. We're now in a building program to build our very first building on 17 acres of land that we own. And when we build it, we'll be able to seat 400. And when we walk in the door, that first day will be full. We're in the process of preparing 33 families to be received into the Orthodox Church this year uh, when it comes time for Pascha. 33 families uh, is a little bit better than last year. We only did 26 last year. And the year before that, uh, during COVID, we had almost 40 families enter the Orthodox Church. And no, I have no idea where I'm going to put them. I did threaten that I was going to Velcro some of them to the ceiling if they didn't start coming up with the cash to build this building. The story of our parish is the story of Orthodoxy around the country. More and more people, especially during the pandemic, had a chance to look around. And what we're discovering is that men and women in the United States who are spiritually seeking are being touched by the power of Orthodox Christianity. And it isn't because they're looking for something old, because there's some things that are old that aren't worth a flip. And by the way, if I sound like I have a southern accent, it's because I practiced before I got up here this morning. <laughs> it isn't because it's old. It isn't because orthodoxy is somehow more relevant and with it today. Do they still say with it? No, we don't say with it. I'm sorry. 
Orthodox Christianity is touching something in men and women across the country precisely because there is an element of orthodoxy. No, excuse me. The element of orthodoxy is that it is timeless. It isn't old. It isn't new and improved. I always tease my, my Pentecostal friends. They have their smoke machines. We have our sensor. Ours smells better. But why is it that timelessness is touching the hearts of modern-day Americans in a society that is more and more nihilistic, more and more narcissistic, and more and more gripped by the pandemic psychological problem of loneliness? What's going on here? Why is orthodoxy this very old and, hey, listen, by the way, very, very different kind of prayer and worship, why is it touching and reaching out to Americans? Because, brothers and sisters, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter when you are, no matter where you're from, the fact of the matter is you're created in the image of God. And being in the image of God, that means that timelessness is your normal situation. You're meant, in fact, sometimes this is good news, sometimes it's bad news, you're going to live forever. Jesus Christ has conquered death. We sing it every Pascha. You may have showed up a time or two. Christos Anesti. Christ, notice what we say. Christ is risen. The defeat of mortality means that none of the human beings that have lived, are living, or ever will live will ever be dead forever. You're going to live forever. The only issue to be settled is, will you know how to enjoy it? And Orthodox Christianity is the perfect spiritual science to train a human being to become by grace what Christ is by nature. This is the place to learn how to enjoy living forever. I usually don't preach from notes, but I wanted to make sure I got this quote right. A man by the name of R.J. Snell, he wrote a book called Acedia and Its Discontents. I love this, this byline. It says, metaphysical boredom in an empire of desire. Isn't that cool? He said this, we simply do not know why we exist. And we hate any answer, watch this, that might compel us to limit our empty freedom and actually attain the good. Freedom is for us now an idol. And our conception of freedom is so absolute that we increasingly perceive limits, watch this, we increasingly perceive limits, especially in this society, as illicit and impermissible. It is forbidden in our modern society to forbid. In that cultural situation, in that cultural rot, if I may, in that cultural illness, we are raising a generation of young men and young women who don't know why they're here. Why do you think the chaos of identity is rampant throughout modern society? In our society where we're the most technologically connected that we've ever been in the history of the human race, and yet the number one problem, according to the CDC, is the symptom and the sickness of loneliness in our society. Our young people questioning, who in the world am I? What am I doing here? What am I supposed to do? In that context and in that situation, I make a bold claim that Orthodox Christianity, yep, that Orthodox Christianity, is absolutely the essential answer and medicine for men and women to become by grace what Christ is by nature. And ladies and gentlemen, a human life is going to be lived too small if it's less than that reality. You were made for God. You were made to know God. You were made to be like Jesus Christ. Well, Father, that's... that's that's a little bit more than Yaya's baklava recipe. <laughs> you better believe it. 
Why do you think this is so comprehensive? Why do you think that this faith is so intrusive in your life? Man, it even affects my, my diet. It affects how and when I eat. It affects what I think and how I live. And every aspect of my life is informed and educated so that I might learn how to live forever with joy. It's the reason why the Apostle Paul, the day that today we celebrate his name day, and we say Kronia Pala to you precious folks at St. Paul's. It's the reason why the Apostle Paul could dare to say to the Galatians, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet it is not I that lives, but it is Christ that lives inside of me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, that's this stuff. I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. The reason why a Pentecostal pastor would end up wearing a dress and being a Greek Orthodox priest is because I, I, in fact, I remember I told my dad, he was broken hearted. He said, son, son, what are you doing? I said, dad, I'm becoming Orthodox. Son, why would you become Jewish? <laughs> oh, come on. It's not like you haven't heard that before. No, dad, Orthodox Christian. What is that? I know, I know. The best kept secret in America, God help us, God forgive us. The reason why a Pentecostal pastor would give up everything that he understood, everything that was normal to him, and enter the Orthodox Christian faith is because I told my dad, I said, Dad, I finally found a faith large enough for the dignity of the human soul. Now I know why I'm here. Now I know why I have my life given to me by God. My life has been given to me so that I might learn to become by grace what Christ is by nature and that the Orthodox Christian faith is the university for eternal life. And that central reality is the reason why the Apostle Paul today reveals to us three eternal truths that are perfectly preserved in our precious, timeless Orthodox Christian faith. And interestingly enough, and young people, I want you to hear this. All three of these eternal truths are dead set centered on Jesus Christ. It isn't a religious philosophy. It's not a religious opinion. It's not another religious self-help self -help rule. It's not Tony Robbins with Jesus added to it. It is the perfect medicine to train a human how to overcome their passions, to stop being a slave to their desires, and to learn how to become like Jesus Christ by focusing solely and centered on Jesus Christ himself. The first eternal truth that the Apostle Paul reveals to us is the eternal truth that Christ is risen. Isn't that interesting? We don't put it in the past tense. We don't put it in the future tense. We put it in the present tense. Because the rea reality is, is that the resurrection of Jesus Christ is so potent and so powerful that it not only affects the past, it affects the present, and it affects the future. That one moment in the, on the day when Christ rose from the dead actually changes the entire universe. And the message that Jesus Christ is alive is the central message of the Orthodox Christian faith. This is the reason why we have our churches de decorated like this. It's why we do incense and candles and we, why, we have, why we have a censer and the priest is dressed in these lovely robes. Because the message is communicated to you in both verbal and nonverbal ways so that you can't mistake the truth. The resurrection of Jesus Christ changes Everything, And I'm not talking about just resurrecting in, the, in our hearts and our memories and, oh, don't we recall him with love. No, folks. The heartbeat that stopped on Friday on Calvary's cross started beating again on Sunday morning. That's the claim we make. Father, that is so absolutely unscientific. Well, you science folks ain't doing so hot nowadays. Timeless truths don't depend on temporary fads. 
The resurrection of Jesus changes everything. He lives not for himself, but for me. He lives freely so that I can live freely. There's a wonderful statement in uh, the movie Shawshank Redemption. I love that movie. One of the fellas says, you got to get busy living or get busy dying. The resurrection of Jesus Christ offers you a chance to choose life instead of the perpetual death of the slavery to the modern madness of addictions and desires that lead me around by the nose and make me a slave and, a, and an addict to things both physical and emotional and psychological. Jesus Christ offers me life. And it changes everything. The second eternal truth that the Apostle Paul tells us today in Galatians is that the eternal truth that not only is Christ risen from the dead, but Christ is crucified. Wait a second, Father, you got it backwards. I want to talk to you about the power of the death of Jesus Christ to invite you to die to that which is enslaving you to a too small life. Let's face it, folks, there must be a reason why in the wealthiest country that has ever existed in the history of the human race, we got more stuff than we know what to do with. Did you know that one of the biggest businesses in the United States today is storage facilities? Why? We got so much stuff, we got to rent a place to put the other stuff, and now and again we'll go by and visit it. This is my stuff. I have this stuff. Why do you have it? I just have it. In this wealthy, abundant society, the most educated, the most technologically advanced, and yet the reality is we are gripped by constant loneliness to the point that the number one prescription in the United States are antidepressants. My angels... If, we're, if money is going to make us happy, if education is going to make us happy, if stuff is going to make us happy, we should be the most deliriously silly folks on the planet. But something is missing. We're invited by the death of Jesus Christ to die to that which is killing us. Don't be a slave. You don't have to. And by living... In his death, in fact, he said, the Apostle Paul says, I am crucified with Christ. Let me ask you a question. Have you been crucified with Christ? Are you willing to die to that which is too small in your life? Are you willing to die to the madness that keeps you locked away in the slave of your own narcissistic self-centeredness? Are you willing to die to that which is killing your relationships, destroying your marriages, hurting your children? keeping you enslaved to a mindset that sends you off to make tons of money and sacrifice your home life. Are you willing to die to what is killing you? A wise man would be happy to do that. Christ not only is risen, Christ not only is crucified, but Christ is love. Now make no mistake, my angels. This is not the love that we have foolishly fallen for in our modern society. The love that we see portrayed so often in front of us is a love that is conditional. I'll love you if you love me back. I'll love you as long as you make me happy. I was telling the folks yesterday that I had a man come into my office one time and he wanted, he wanted me to give him permission to leave his family. And you know what he said to me? Do you know what he said to me? He said to me, with his, with his mouth, he said this to me. He looked at me in the face. Here I am sitting there. I've got a collar on. I've got my black dress on. I look great. <laughs> We're sitting in my office. It's right connected to the church. The guy looked at me, and this is what he said. He said this with his mouth. Father, don't I deserve to be happy? <laughs> the gentleman will never forget what happened next. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I rose up in all my glory and in my glorious robes flowing in the breeze. And I looked at that narcissistic idiot. I say that with love. I look at that narcissistic, self-centered man who is only concerned about himself. And I looked at him and said, no, of course you don't deserve to be happy. You deserve to be good. Happiness is too small to build a life on. Happiness can be taken away from me when somebody cuts me off in traffic. That's too small a thing to build an entire life on. Too small. Not bad, not wrong. It's lovely to be happy. I enjoy being happy. But I like what C.S. Lewis said. If I wanted to be happy, I knew a bottle of port could do that. No, angels, you were created for something much more cosmic. You were created for an eternal reality. And happiness is here today and gone tomorrow. You can catch a cold and not be happy anymore. If something is that flimsy that can be affected by so many external circumstances that you have no control over, how in heaven's name can you logically, as an adult, now I understand if you're three, but if you're a grown human being, how in heaven's name can you get away with spending the life gift that God has given you looking for something as flimsy as happiness? No, my angels, Christ is love. And this love is a terrifying reality. This love says, I will love God without reservation. And I will love my neighbor expecting nothing in return. What? You mean you may be sitting there wondering, where's the payoff? It ain't here. This love is a love that sets me free from the temporary tyranny of that which enslaves me through my desires and my passions. Young people especially, you live in a day and an age where the world is telling you, follow your heart. That has shipwrecked more lives than any foolish stupidity in the history of the world. Don't follow your heart, follow Christ. Now, now danger, folks. Amen to me is like sick him to a dog. Don't, don't do that. we got to get to dinner. Following Christ is better than following your heart. Why? Because the, the King David said that my heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? My heart can be deceived. My heart can be lied to. But Christ is firm and sure and everlasting. And on this St. Paul's feast day, you and I are interested in learning how to be timeless because that's why we were made. And the only way we're going to ever learn how to truly be the timeless beings, and I love again what C.S. Lewis said, I'm looking at a group of people right now that in a thousand years you will be so beautiful I will be tempted to fall down and worship you or so hideous that I will recoil in terror. Because right now in this building, right now in this church, at this moment in Orange County, California, you are already becoming what you will eventually be. The question is, what is that? And on this feast day, the invitation of the timeless, genius, orthodox Christian faith to you right now you are invited to put your foot on a transformational journey by focusing on Jesus Christ who is risen, crucified, and loves you more than you yourself know how to love. On this precious day, all moments are in this moment right now. And you will leave this building either choosing to grasp the greatest adventure that could ever be promised to a human being, or you will once again turn away from the glorious opportunity to be made by the science of orthodoxy into a person who is like Jesus Christ. So, who is on the Lord's side among you? Amen.